Well, uh, as you can see, we got a lot of unboxing to do. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, on this channel, I open up a bunch of comic books. Let me get these out of the way, shall we? All right, so again, I open a lot of comic books on this channel, and today is no different. I've got two packages here from Organic Price Books. As a fact, the last time I did an Organic Price Books haul, it happened the same way. Two different orders arrived the same day because I selected two different shipping methods. If this teaches you nothing else, then uh, just know UPS Ground is definitely the way to go. Spend the extra $6. It's worth it. So before I move any further in this video, I have to shout out Organic Price Books. They are our channel sponsor, and they are the best place to look online for collected editions. If you're looking for omnibus, trade paperbacks, oversized hardcovers for up to like 50% off, sometimes even more. Great shipping, great packaging, great customer service. You already know the drill. Go to organicpricebooks.com. And of course, you can save some money if you use my coupon code BJKICKS on orders of one or two books, you'll save $2. Or if you're ordering three books or more, you can use the coupon code BJKICKS, ship it together. They'll ship all of your books in one package as soon as they're all in the warehouse together, and you'll save 5% on that order. Sounds like a good deal to me. What do I know? I'm just a guy that buys a lot of comics. So thanks to Organic Price Books for sponsoring this video. Let's not belabor it. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this. Um, I'm going to start with the smaller package first, though. So let's do a little bit of shuffling. You know what's crazy? I spent a lot of time trying to find Big Red, my unboxing knife, my box cutter. And I don't know where he is. Uh, missing person here. Oh, man. Well, there was a bookmark in this package. And dang, Bat David. I don't know how this happened, but there you go. I mean, I can still mark my book with Bat David. No worries. Uh, but anyway, let's get into this first package. All right, boom, boom, boom. Okay, there's, oh, there's another bookmark in here. One that I've not seen before. Who's this guy supposed to be? I don't know who this is, but he looks cool. This another Organic Price Books cartoon dude. All right, let's see. Oh, there's even more bookmarks in here. Boom, nice, I like this. Classic logo. You know, you can never have too many bookmarks. Unless, of course, you have too many bookmarks. But let's get into this package. Uh, oh, I should show you, in case you've never seen it, Organic Price Books really does package their books phenomenally. Let's go in here. Well, so yeah, I try to keep this packaging, um, you know, in case I ever sell books, which, I sell books kind of often. In fact, I'm going to be selling some books this coming up Sunday, Sunday, June 5th. I'm coming back to whatnot. I'm back. I'm back on whatnot. So we're going to be selling some single issues, some sets, a lot of trades, uh, a lot of hardcovers, including a copy of Usagi Ojimbo, the limited hardcover, limited to 300, if I'm not mistaken, volume one, still sealed in the shrink wrap. And that's not even the half of it. So We'll see, keep talking about that more as the date comes up. But mark your calendar next Sunday, June the 5th, June 5th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. That's when it's going down. Uh, but anyway, got the first layer of bubble wrap. Now let's get into the second layer. And get to this prize that's inside here. Where's the tape start? Cool. Here it is. This is exciting. This is X-Men, The Fall of the Mutants Omnibus. This was the last piece that I needed, right? Now I've got X-Men 
Silver Age, Volume 1 and 2. I've got The Uncanny X-Men, Volumes 1 through 4. I've got Mutant Massacre. I've got the Inferno Prologue and Inferno. And I got X-Men by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee, Volumes 1 and 2. With this, this uh, completes the set of everything that's been released so far. So if you're trying to read all of Chris Claremont's X-Men, you start with Uncanny Volume 1, you read through Volume 4, there are some missing issues, you know, hopefully that would end up being in Volume 5. Uh, there's Bishop's Crossing and Extinction Agenda, Executioner's Song mixed up in there, and you got Fall of the Mutants, you got all this stuff, Mutant Massacre. But if you read all the way through Jim Lee Volume 2, then you've read Chris Claremont's entire 17-year initial run of X-Men. And that is the quest that I'm on. I thought I was going to read it all this year. And then it took me five months to read Uncanny X-Men Volume 1. Like, I started in December, and I just read, like, a couple of issues, like, every month, it seemed like. I'm finally done with it. The review's coming soon, because, man, was it good, but I got some thoughts. Uh, but anyway... This is another piece in the Chris Claremont puzzle that was absolutely needed. Long awaited, this book was like out of print and people were like hoping and praying that it would come out. Uh, it was originally just like an oversized hardcover, but now it's got the omnibus treatment. I gotta say, the spine. This is gonna look kind of weird on the shelf. Like you can't really read the fall of the mutants the way it's there. I mean, you can see that. It's like a big yellow line and that's it. But anyway, fall of the mutants. Had to grab that. Definitely go ahead and grab it if you haven't already because it's going to go fast, like Ricky Bobby. Now, that was the only book in my first package. Let's move this box out of the way. And... All right. Let's get this second box moving. Um, again, we miss you, Big Red. But these scissors are honestly a little bit faster. Maybe this was... Maybe this was the way to go the whole time. I don't know, Big Red. We might not need your services anymore. Uh, what, is, what are we going to call you? Blue scissors? Blue, blue, blue something. I don't know. What is it like? It's like it's like when Superman came back and he was all electricity. Like just cosmic blue. Super scissors. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, let's go into this second package. Another organic price books bookmark. Gotta love those. And uh, I can't even like show you this because my address is like right on it. Hold on, let's just mark it out real quick. Once again, heavy on the packaging. Gotta love that. And, jeez, I'm gonna turn this box upside down. This is not coming out easily. Phenomenal cosmic power. All right, All right. how is this going? Let's Let's figure this out. Let's figure it out quickly. Where's the tape? Where's the stuff? Oh, I'm slow. The sticker is the tape. But then there's the other thing about scissors. You can actually use them like scissors and get a little bit more precise. Uh, maybe Big Red... Big Red might not be coming back. these steel? Blue steel. There we go. Blue steel. Stainless steel scissors. Blue steel. All right. Anyways, now that I've named my unboxing tool, I almost hurt myself with it. All right. Boom. Now let's get to what we came for. 
So this is The Amazing Spider-Man by J. Michael Straczynski, John Michael Straczynski, Jeffrey Michael Straczynski. I don't know, Jason Michael Straczynski. Maybe it's James. I feel like James Straczynski is just a nice, strong name. But anyway, Amazing Spider-Man. This run contains art from John Romita Jr. and from Mike Deodato Jr. Lots of junior action going there. I got the standard cover. This standard cover is by J. Scott Campbell, one Jeffrey Scott Campbell, if you will. Uh, features Mary Jane and Peter Parker and a host of Spider-Man's best loved villains. Yeah. This was the way to go. This cover was the way to go, in my opinion. The direct market variant just wasn't for me this time around. This is the cover for Amazing Spider-Man issue 500. This run is the run that was most uh, recommended as like a good starting point if you never read Spider-Man before, which I've never read Spider-Man before. I've had volume two basically ever since I started the channel. Like when I first started working with Organic Price Books, I bought volume two from them in their wear and tear section. And that was over a year ago. And now volume one is also out. That is an exciting fact. And now that I've got JMS, um, this is probably, I thought I was going to read Roger Stern first. Never read Roger Stern. I'm probably going to jump into this one first because why not? Why not read this modern Spidey first? Uh, let's see. Let's look at some of the covers this collects. Oh, the 9-11 issues in here. I've never read the 9-11 issue. Yeah. I'm probably jumping into this one first. This one's got a cover price of $125. You can get it on Organic Price Books for $85. You use my coupon code BJKicks, you'll get it for $83. Or if you order it with two other books, you'll get 5% off of that. It's a really great deal. And you can get free shipping for any order over $50. Um, but just upgrade the shipping. Pay the $6 for UPS Ground. It's worth it, I promise. Now... Yeah, I'm excited about this. Babylon 5 creator J. Michael Straczynski teamed with legendary artist John Romita Jr. and Mike Deodato Jr. to spin some of the 21st century's finest Spider-Man tales. This collects Amazing Spider-Man issues 30 through 58, uh, and legacy numbering 500 through 514 and the 509 director's cut. Very cool, very cool. Um, so there's that. As you can see, my uh, shrink wrap started to pop a little bit. Totally fine, probably just from so many pack books being in the same package and rubbing together. But let's get to this next book. The next book I've got is, this is Moon Knight. Moon Knight by Houston, Benson, and Hurwitz. This is the direct market cover. I don't remember who does the direct market cover. I know the standard cover was by David Finch. Um, and honestly, you couldn't really go wrong. I love David Finch's cover, but this looks great too. Um, and what's great is this is definitely David Finch on the back cover. So you get some of the best of both worlds with this um, standard. Or this, I think this is the red market cover, like I said. Uh, you got Moon Knight staring into the mouth of some beast. Is it Werewolf by Night? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But that's exciting. That's I like this cover. I like this cover a lot. Uh, so this collects Moon Knight from 2006, issues 1 through 30, the annual number one, and then Moon Knight, Silent Night, Vengeance of the Moon. Oh, Moon Knight, Silent Night, which is one story, then Vengeance of the Moon Knight, issues 1 through 10, and Shadowland, Moon Knight, issues 1 through 3, written by Charlie Houston, Mike Benson, and Greg Hurwitz, with Dwayne Srinsky, Peter Milligan, illustrated by David Finch, Miko Swayan. Sleon, Don Cameron, Tom Coker, Javier Salteres, Mark Teixeira, Mike Deodato Jr., Hefe Paolo, Lawrence Campbell, Jerome Peña, Tong Eng Huat, Juan Jose Rick, and Bong Dazo. Dazo? De definitely a mouthful. Definitely a lot of creators on this book. Um, I wasn't even going to get this book, but then the Moon Knight series came out and was pretty exciting. And then I saw the artwork. It was Omar. Omar from Near Man Condition. Did an overview of this book and I was like, okay, David Finch is on interior art. I love David Finch. Now I gotta get this book. So I got this book. So that's Moon Knight by Houston Benson and Hurwitz. And 
the third book in the hall. You guessed it, it's Moon Knight by Houston Benson and Hurwitz. This is a second copy. Why would I get two copies? I don't know. I don't need two copies. Sounds like one of them is for you. So if you're in the K-Squad on Facebook and or Discord, be on the lookout. You never know how I'm going to give away these prizes, and I'm actually a little bit backlog. I still got to give away that Wolverine and the X-Men. So this is up for grabs. Wolverine and the X-Men is up for grabs. This is going to be a fun month for giveaways. So thanks to Organic Price Books for sponsoring the monthly K-Squad exclusive giveaway. Now, if you don't know what the K-Squad is, the K-Squad is my private community of comic book fans, in my opinion. And I'm, I'm quite biased, but we're the best group of comic book fans on the internet. Super nice people. Like, you don't get a bunch of people arguing with each other over stupid stuff. You just get people that love comics talking about the comics they love. Every week, we do our creator showcase. So if you are a content creator, a YouTuber, a podcaster, a visual artist, you can show off your works. So that hopefully you can get some recognition, gain some following, maybe even get some customers. Uh, we do that. We do all sorts of fun discussion questions. We just have a great time in the squad because it's kind of like being in the comic shop and talking to like other comic nerds, but like 24 seven and in your pocket. So join the K squad on Facebook and or discord, whichever you prefer. We'd love to see you there. And like I said, we have fun and I'll also give you guys opportunities to win cool prizes. So that's how you'll be able to win the Moon Knight Omnibus. And that is the hall. So here we go. <laughs> Another insane omnibus hall from Organic Price Books. This makes no sense. Was it needed? Yes, it was needed. It was absolutely necessary. So if you saw something you liked in this video, I'm very glad you did. And if not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.